Ladies and gentlemen, it's Draco Thuban, and welcome back to Let's Play Loom. Alright, last time we learned the camouflage or hide spell from these guys. Uh, it took a little bit of trial and error, but we got it, and we need that we need that draft in order to get the draft that proves to them that I am a wizard. Come on, lads. He's had enough. Let him go. Some kind of wizard, eh? Don't trip on your robe, little wizard. Get on, you lazy bunch of yous. Back to work. Alright. Now there's this big emerald glass colored city over here, so let's go check that out. Now that was the uh, Guild of Shepherds that we just came across, and this is the Guild of Glassmakers. Lots of guilds. The great guilds. Okay, let's keep on moving through here. Actually, let's go up here. Let's see what we got up, go up here. I want to know what that freaking thing is right there. So let's go over there. And to do that, you've got to come over here. And there's this crystal. What does the crystal do? Huh. A glass. I wonder what will happen if... Whoosh. Awesome. I'm dizzy. Welcome to Crystal Guard, stranger. I'm Master Goodmode, 31st in the Noble Guild of Glassmakers. And who might you be? My name is Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbare of the, um... Noble Guild of Weavers. A weaver! Tell me, is it true that to peer beneath a weaver's hood brings instant agonizing death? Message. I honestly don't know. Nobody's ever tried it with me. You have such a wonderful view of the sky here. Have you noticed a flock of swans flying this way? Swans? Swans. You know, birds. Yes, yes, swans! <laughs> no, I haven't heard of any swan sightings. Uh, look around to your heart's content, weaver threadbare. Mm. And remember, if you break it, you buy it. <laughs> okay, enough of that. What is this? That's beautiful. I've never seen anything sparkle like that. Not even the long tapestry. What kind of glass is it? It was carved from a single crystal of diamond. But I thought you were glass makers. Well, we are, we are. A dear boy, this is none other than the famous Chromax conundrum, wrought by our distinguished founder, Lucent Bottleblow. His works once filled an entire museum, you know. And that was before the great dragon arrived in 7342. She blew through this city like a torch, melting and breaking our finest works, plundering our museums and treasuries until we had almost nothing left. It was awful, just terrible, really a miserable time. Uh, even Bottle Blow's greatest masterpiece, the first scrying sphere, was lost forever. But you still have the conundrum. And a lucky thing, too. It was on loan to the Guild of Vintners at the time. It is the sole remaining example of our Founder's transcendent genius. But I'm still curious. Why is it diamond instead of glass? We've no idea. No idea at all. That's the conundrum, you see. Ha ha ha! Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Anywho, let's let's go back to what we were doing here. Okay, we gotta head out uh, out the back way here, cause we need to find a way to get past those shepherds. But in order to do that, we need to get past some guards first. And we're going to do that thanks to the shepherd's help. Thanks for the secret of camouflage, guys. It's going to help a lot. Now, what camouflage does, it will actually... You target something, and they will not be able to see you. Oh, wait. Who are these guys? What's this going on? I can on? barely hear what the 
has seen. I trust your excellency is pleased with our progress? That all depends on how far this sphere can help me see. Four hours, most assuredly. Uh, perhaps six, with a bit of luck. Only six hours? But I expressly requested eight. Every sphere is unique, Bishop. It is impossible to accurately predict how well this sphere will perform. I need at least eight hours. Eight hours, Master Crucible. See to it. Okay. Hmm, he does not seem like a very happy person. But these are the guards up here that I need to be able to fool. The workers. So let us play the hide spell. The hide draft. Another glass bell. Of course, what kind of bell would it be? They're glass makers. Maybe a diamond bell? And shh. We are invisible. Honestly, Bishop Mandible cuts quite a figure, doesn't he? I don't doubt that. Why would the clerics want a scrying sphere anyway? I thought they didn't believe in the future. Yeah, your guess is as lucid as mine, Flute. But Crucible appears to think that they're up to no good again. Then why would he do business with them at all? Let alone sell them a sphere. Well, you know, Crucible, he'd sell his own mother. The clerics are paying off in cash. Which should keep us in the clear for years to come. Still, I'm certainly pleased that Crucible's not taking any chances. This scythe might become very useful if our friend the bishop has been less than transparent with us. Ouch! Yes. Very useful indeed. Very useful and very sharp. That side is even sharper than a weaver's spindle. Okay, let's hear that again. That side is even sharper than a weaver's spindle. I believe that's an A at the end, but let's see the first couple of parts. I believe it's C D D A. Side is even sharper than a weaver's spindle. Let's sharpen for C D D A. You're not gonna need that. You'll need the reverse though. Learn spells. Learn many, many spells. Let's check out this uh, scrying ball that they were talking about, the scrying crystal. Sounded like C D D C and they ran away. Hmm. Hmm. No, maybe it's D E E D. Yes, that isn't a draft. That isn't a draft. Let's listen again. Oh, whoa, there's a fire going on now. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Well, we'll get back to this next time on Let's Play Loom.